Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings. I am Sag Moon Diva, for those of you all that are new to the channel. Also, I have a second channel, which is Sag Moon Diva Tarot. On that channel, I do readings for all 12 zodiac signs. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, please do so. Subscribe to that as well as this channel. And let's get into this reading. So this one is going to be on Shia LaBeouf and FKA Twigs. The two of them dated, but um, there was a, oh, there's a lot that's come out in this situation. In fact, FKA Twigs has come forward and she has claimed that Shia allegedly during this relationship has done some very harmful things to her. If you guys are interested in getting more detail, check that information out online. But um, I just want to go ahead and pull the energy around these two, okay? See um, what kind of messages come through, okay, on both sides. So Shia LaBeouf is a Gemini and FKA Twigs is a Capricorn. So let's see what we have here. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages for Shia LaBeouf and FKA Twigs. Give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Shia LaBeouf and FKA Twigs. This is going to be her side. And this is going to be his. All right, bottom of the deck is the justice card. Ooh, justice will be served in this situation here. Okay, I don't know if these two are going through like some type of litigation, but maybe seeing that Libra card at the bottom of the deck, justice will be served in a situation. Um, because uh, justice basically is about like a fair evaluation. Uh, it also talks about... Um, uh, if it's in a reverse, it talks about like lack of accountability and dishonesty. Okay. So, uh, hmm, there's something that's being evaluated. Could be something that's being evaluated, um, through the courts. It could also be something that is evaluated when it comes to the people, the public's opinion. Okay. About both people. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. So the overall is the emperor card, okay? Emperor card, basically um, Aries energy. It's about discipline. Basically, it's about discipline. It's about obeying the rules. It's about doing the right thing. Also, it's about structure, ambition, and authority, okay? Um, <clears throat> authority, first thing I'm thinking about, first thing I thought about when I pulled the card out is about somebody trying to maintain some type of control or somebody that likes to be in control. Baby, oh, this reading is a trip. Okay, so from Twig's side, she has the King of Cups in the reverse, the Four of Wands in the upright, Three of Swords in the upright, Nine of Wands in the reverse, and the Two of Swords. She had to make a decision, one in which she had to uh, not listen to anybody else's opinion. She had to do what she feels was right for her. Uh, it was a very difficult choice for her to do. And, but she was able to do it. And I feel like in this situation, it was for her walking away. And it was also for her coming forward with her story because she wanted to tell the world. And I'm going to be honest, for the longest, I thought that Shia LaBeouf was a Scorpio. So I was really surprised to see that he's a Gemini. But on her side, he's coming up as the King of Cups in a reverse, okay? So she considers him to be very cold, somebody that can be very moody, and somebody that is emotionally manipulative, allegedly, okay? Okay, because see, for her with the Four of Wands energy, this is this was her literally contemplating maybe having a life with him. Uh, she could have been contemplating walking down the aisle with him, but he definitely did something to break her heart because you have the Three of Swords here. This is all about heartbreak. This is all about suffering, and it's all about grief. So whew, there's a lot of swords on her side. She still is going through some uh, a bit of pain, allegedly, when it comes to Shia, because also the Nine of Wands is coming through in the reverse as well. So, y'all, this was this situation has been extremely, extremely exhaustive for her. Like she, this was. Let me tell you something. 
this was not an easy decision for her to walk away and for her to come forward and say what allegedly has happened to her. But she did have the strength to do it. Baby. Let's see what we got over here on Shia's side. You have the Six of Cups in the reverse. You have the Seven of Cups in the upright. The Sun card in the reverse. The Lovers card in the upright. And the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This situation allegedly has put Shia into a state of depression. Because we do have the Sun card here in the reverse. He's feeling a lot of sadness. Also, he could be building up like some animosity. He could be feeling very negative at this time as well. Because he's trying to figure out like what is his next, new, his next move. Excuse me. There is a part of him that is trying to figure out with this seven of cups what is i feel like shia doesn't even know who he is a lot of him could be and i'm not surprised um now it makes sense about him being a gemini because that seven of cups energy is basically all about somebody that's kind of like daydreaming or somebody that's trying to make a decision in their life and i feel like with him his mind goes like this or at least this is where he is right now. He is in a, a, a state of depression, allegedly, and he's in this a state of mind where he's trying to figure out who he is as a, per a person. He could be searching for his purpose in life. He's thinking about the choices that he has made in his life, allegedly. And for him, it's kind of like I feel like he's stuck. Shia's stuck. I don't know if he's stuck in, in his he's definitely stuck in the past with his six of cups here in the reverse. He is stuck in his past, but, um, it's funny because with this, with this six of cups here, wow, the six of cups is next to the seven of cups here. He is trying to figure out what his purpose is in his life right now, because he's, he's trying to figure out what his purpose is, but he's still maintaining a need to move forward and also to gain or maybe keep his sense of independence. He's trying to, this is what it is. That's what it is. He's trying to regain structure in his life. Because right now, he doesn't know who he is. He does He is, oh, he, let me tell you something. Um, he may have been missing out on opportunities in Hollywood. I don't know. There could have been some, allegedly, okay? There could have been some doors closed in his face, okay? Because you have the Ten of Pentacles card here in the reverse. So when you get this in a reading, this is all about, success fleeting that's what it is y'all he's looking back on his past to when he was a superstar because you remember at one point this guy was super popular he was the transformers guy uh, if i'm not mistaken he started out on kid tv i think it was uh, nickelodeon um he was very respected in the industry but it seemed like slowly but surely he began to act a little he been he started acting a little crazy, okay? <laughs> and so now I feel like with him, with opportunities like jobs, and and I feel like he's been something's been taken away from him. Or if he tries to uh, try out for movies or to get different type of business deals, baby, it ain't happening right now. It's not happening right now. What did I tell you? Look at that lovers card next to the ten of pentacles in the reverse. Don't nobody want to work with him right now. I'm telling you, people are distancing themselves from here because the lover's card is all about partnerships. So he still is dealing with the effects of the partnership that he used to have with Twigs. Okay. He, he's definitely feeling the effects of it because one thing about Hollywood, you have to be a, there's a fine line. You have to play. Okay. And if you don't play the game, if you allegedly, you know, you have situations like this where you're in trouble, especially for something as serious as the things that there, that is being claimed that Shia has done. Um, baby blackballing is no joke. It's real. Uh, Will Smith is starting to see the effects of this. You know, how quickly you can go from being, you know, the, this, this star in Hollywood to, to the star of yesteryear. And this is what I feel is happening with Shia. And I feel like for him, he doesn't even know what direction to go in right now. But, you know, if this is something where he did this, then he got to own up to it. It is what it is. All right, let's see. <clears throat> What kind of person is Shia LaBeouf? What kind of person is Shia LaBeouf? 
Yeah, he's definitely, I'm telling you, he's definitely going through a rough period, a period of depression. What messages need to come through at this time, please, for Shia LaBeouf? What messages need to come through for him? He's definitely going through a period of depression. That star card is there again. Now, the star card, you know, of course, in the upright, is all about healing. It's about rebuilding. I do feel like he's trying to rebuild his life. He's trying to get some footing in his life right now. But, um... I mean, it's all about success and pleasure, basically. I'm sorry. I was I was speaking from the standpoint of the star card. But I'm telling you, in some way, he's tried to regain his success or he's looking back on the success that he's had. It's basically, uh, it's like a period of, it feels like a period of karma for him. Give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Shia. Most important messages for Shia, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Hey, I can't pick my cards up today. Yeah, you, your, okay, your perseverance is rewarded. You have conflict and danger lie in wait. Yes, there's a sword card. Yeah, definitely conflict and danger lies in wait for him. See, it's because of, I'm telling you, that's devil energy there. Now, keep in mind that the Capricorn is the devil energy. So the first thing I saw here is with the sun card and the devil energy here with the satire is, um, she could be rewarded, uh, meaning that, <laughs> can't even think of her name right now. I'm sorry. Twigs could be rewarded. Okay. For her having to strength to move forward. However, Shia, and this is a big yes. Okay. To the conflict in his life. And it has to do with devil energy. There could be some type of obsession, obsession with control. There could be obsession to control substances, obsessiveness to sex, whatever the case may be. There is definitely some type of devil energy that Shia is allegedly in that is why I feel that he is in this energy now of trying to find out who he is. So I don't know if he's seeking some type of therapy, he's in some type of rehab, but if he isn't, this is definitely a place that he needs to be. Okay, so let's see. We have the flag card here. It says, don't be tempted to lower your standards. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Great worry over nothing. You have protected from negative forces beyond your control. You have, ooh, you have May. Okay, something significant could happen in the month of May for one or the both of them. <clears throat> you have stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Okay, so it definitely looks like there uh, that Ten of Pentacles energy, he may be coming out of it because it looks like a cycle is ending. But it has indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. This is exactly what he's doing right now. Okay, because this Seven of Cups energy... He's in a state of illusion right now, not knowing which way to go, which door to turn to. But I just keep getting in my head that he needs to seek some type of therapy for some issues that he has that stems from his childhood. I don't know what kind of upbringing that Shia has had. Excuse me. I don't know what type of childhood Shia has had, but. It definitely is tied to the way that he handles himself in relationships. And I feel like for him, he has issues when it comes to control. Like I'm like nobody can control me or since I can't control what's going on in my life or in my head, then I'll try to control other people. Allegedly, you have a chain of events that will affect your life. OK, so he definitely needs to if he hasn't already. He needs to get himself together and stop being in this energy of being indecisive. I want to see. Hmm. Let me pull some. Let me pull some of these. Give me the most important messages that need to come through for Twigs and Shia. Give me the most important messages that need to come through for Twigs and Shia, please. Yeah, bear with me because I'm about to pull all of these <laughs> cards over here. Okay, give me the most important messages that need to come through. Oh, 
I feel surprisingly calm. So I don't know if he secluded himself um, or if Shia is in at some type of a retreat, at some type of a um, rehabilitation center. I just keep feeling like he's at a rehabilitation center or he's speaking to someone that's like a healer. Somebody's doing this. One or the both of them is speaking to someone allegedly. Somebody's speaking to somebody because it feels like a, a sense of calmness over this reading. And the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please. Most important messages that need to come through. All right, here's gonna. This is gonna be the final one, and then we can get into these intuitives. All right. <clears throat> you have hustle. Sagittarius, okay, a Sagittarius could be significant in one or the both of their lives. You have, I still love you. Someone has the initial L in due time. Hmm. The heck does that in due time mean? You have, if it's really love, wow. If it's really love, why does it hurt so bad? You have car insurance. There we go. We got twigs coming through with the Capricorn energy here. And there is definitely a waiting period, okay? There's some type of waiting period that is going on in one of the both of their lives. Somebody is spending, somebody's using emotional spending to cope with an issue. It says, you got this, keep going, all right? Communication is important at this time. So I, I'm telling you all, I definitely feel like somebody's speaking to somebody that's like a spiritualist or somebody speaking to someone that's like a therapist or it's, it's some type of communication that's going on where somebody's getting some things off of their chest. Somebody is revealing, oh, somebody could be writing a book as well. But you also have book smart, moving for work, and something significant could happen to one of the both of them a year from now. Last message is here, self-employed. You have the Empress card here, Mother Creator Business Elegant. Okay, so this is a Libra Taurus energy here with the Empress. But this could also indicate energy about twigs. She could be in her Empress energy at this time. And it's funny that I that the Empress card came out with the Emperor here. So at one point, this relationship could have felt very connected, very easy with these two. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, like I said, Shia is a Gemini. Twigs is a Capricorn. Oh, I wish I had more of their chart. But these two may have felt like a really strong connection before things got, I just said, before things got complicated. Come on, y'all. And you have, let's wait a while. So I don't know if he has wanted to like maybe have a conversation with her to kind of open the air of communication, maybe send her an apology, a personal apology, but she may have told him allegedly, like, let's just wait a while. Like, I'm not, I'm not even ready to talk to you right now. I'm not ready to forgive you at this moment. There's definitely a waiting period going on. I feel like somebody also feels emotionally disconnected because I feel like I'm doing this reading, but I also feel like I'm emotionally disconnected from this reading as well. So I do feel like um, one or the both of them could be emotionally disconnected from other people or emotionally disconnected, completely found themselves emotionally disconnected from this relationship. Whoa, I did say emotional disconnection. Allegedly, Shia is emotionally disconnected from his feelings. Something's happened with him, y'all. I feel it. Because that King of Cups there in the reverse, this is somebody that, you know, like I said before, emotional manipulation, somebody that could be cold, somebody that could be moody. I just feel a very cold energy of somebody just, I don't know. Man, it just felt weird. Why is this coming through? Why 
Why is this coming through? Why is there this energy of emotional disconnect and control? Why are these messages coming through at this time, please? Okay, great lover, dirty talk. Hot sex. Yeah, I do believe there was a connection with these two. That, the, the intimacy could have been off the charts, but something is just not right. Give me more messages. Something's just not right. Yeah. Addiction was affecting this relationship. I'm telling you all, addiction affected this relationship. Addiction definitely affected this relationship. I feel that there is energy being cleared right now. I feel like uh, Twigs is focusing a lot on herself. Uh, she's working on her um, on her own life. There's a lot of abundance. These two could be twin flames. That's why there feels like it's such a strong connection here because you got dirty talk. My camera just froze. But um, <laughs> you got dirty talk. You have great lover. You have hot sex. And at the bottom of the deck, you have intimate moments. See, I told you at one point she was thinking about marrying him. But I guess a part of her is still kind of asking, like, was this true? Because I'm telling you, she suffered a huge heartbreak. So the control and everything must have came out of nowhere. I feel like he gives me the energy that a lot of people tend to get um, in readings from their person. It's like especially with twin flame energy. This is why I'm not surprised twin flame has come up for the both of them. This feels like the energy of someone that he's had allegedly a very rough childhood. Something happened in his childhood. I don't know what it is. Only he knows what happened. And there's something there that when he feels, he starts to feel too much, like too much love and everything. I have to get the upper hand. I have to feel control. So therefore, I got to start manipulating a person or manipulating a situation so that I can feel comfortable in my toxicity because this is toxic as hell. This is toxic as hell. And it's coming out for him. It's not coming out for her. It's coming out as there's a lot of toxicity there. And I don't know. And I feel like he covers things up with a smile. You know, like um, he's one of those people that you don't see it coming until you've gotten too involved with him. And I feel like this is something that may have happened in his childhood or in his, he may have witnessed in his home that his family portrayed themselves as very happy. But behind closed doors, it was, it was a mess. It was a mess. Yes. And that's why the Ace of Swords is there. It was a mess. I think he's had some type of breakthrough, that Ace of Swords energy. I think he's had some type of clarity on, I feel like he's talking to a therapist or somebody. He's having some type of clarity and realizing, damn, I am the problem. I do got some things in my life that I need to work on. And I do feel he is the one that came through in the intuitive messages of like, I'm still in love with you or still want you. I do feel he feels a lot of remorse for the way that he allegedly treated Twigs because this may not have been somebody that he wanted things to end with and he didn't want things to turn out toxic, but all he's ever known was toxicity. Damn. Give me more messages, please. Give me more messages in regards to Twigs and Shia. More messages in regards to Twigs and Shia. <clears throat> She's trying to uh, move on. She's basically, she could be dating. She could be, she could have met somebody new. Okay. He could have also met somebody new, uh, but there's still a lot of healing that is going on. She's trying to heal from this toxic relationship again. She's trying to heal from this toxic relationship. Girl, what did you go through? There's some, I told you, there's some introspection going on. This is somebody looking within themselves. Somebody had a mirror put up to their face and they realized, oh my God, I'm just like my mama or I'm like my daddy, X, Y, Z. 
okay? And somebody is really realizing that the relationships that they are in, and I feel strongly that this is, oh my God, why did I just, hold on. I feel like the both of them have a bit of toxicity in them. Saying that she may attract certain type of men. And she realized when she got with Shia that, you know what? There's a pattern here with the type of men that I date. Oh, I'm going to have to do a reading on her and Rob Pattinson. I sure am because this is twin flame energy. Keep in mind, these are two people that are um, need to be on a spiritual journey if they're not already. They need to be on a spiritual journey so they can learn something about themselves. This was, this was a learning lesson. For some twin flames, you come together. For others, it's a learning lesson and you move on with your life and you go on to meet somebody better suited for you. But this twin flame connection, I feel like the both of them had to learn something from this. Shut the freaking front door. Allegedly, when Twigs dates people, she lowers her standards. She may have seen some red flags when it came to him allegedly, and she lowered her standards and she got with him anyway. I do feel that she had issues in the past with indecisiveness where you know that you probably shouldn't deal with somebody, but you try to stay with them out of toxicity, that devil energy that I mentioned. Uh-huh. May, it's Taurus, Gemini energy. I'm just saying. Isn't Robert Pattinson a Taurus? Isn't Shia a Gemini? Okay. Chain of events that will affect your life. I told you, both of them, both of them have some things that they need to work on because when they got with each other in this toxic relationship, they realized that each other reflected the other one's wounds. So this is why so much ugliness and control and everything came out. Because these are two people that that need to they need to change. Somebody is a worrier. Somebody worries a lot about every little thing. And somebody's protected, whether it's one or the both of them. Hmm. Yeah, I was, what did I tell you? Light. Things are coming out, co coming to light, so that a person can change and so that a person can heal. They both may be on their spiritual journeys at this time. Could be that one is on their spiritual journey at this time. But I do know one of the both of them allegedly needs some type of therapy because these relationships that they have been in is reflected back on them, letting them see that whatever type of toxicity one has in themselves, the other one possesses it as, as well, allegedly. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. One of the both of them has issues with control. Now, see, this is coming up as overall, so that could be both of y'all. Two people with issues with control for two different reasons. Given the most important messages that need to come through for Shia and Twigs. Most important messages that need to come through for Shia and Twigs. Hmm. Wow. Shut up, man. Come on now. Bottom of the deck, tower card in the reverse. Y'all, hold on a second. I told you somebody's going to have some type of breakthrough. Somebody's going to take action. Somebody's going to be taking action and going into the unknown. So I'm not necessarily sure if Shia is looking for a reconciliation. But you have the Ace of Cups here, which is fulfillment and love. Ace of Wands here in the reverse, meaning that some type of creation, something that somebody created has stopped. What the hell is going on? Lack of passion for something. King of Cups energy. Trusting your intuition in a new beginning. 
Twigs, you want a second chance with him? You want a second chance? What the hell? Y'all, I'm telling you. Oh, y'all, completely emotionally manipulative. Oh, Twigs, girl, do you have an issue with codependency and you thinking about getting back with Shia? Or this is something that's happened in the past where she has, I don't know if in the past she tried to move away from him, but his emotional manipulative ways allegedly pulled her back. Because see, this is somebody that's moving forward, knowing good and well, they need to stay where the hell they at, but they're going to keep trying to go after and pursue somebody. And because somebody is so caught up in their emotions and the love for somebody that they end up trying to stay in a situation that's not working. Because see, the tower card is a situation has fallen apart. Okay, and a person is refusing to leave a situation. Uh, uh, I feel like at one point she knew it. She saw the red flags, but then she, she still kept looking at him as the king of cups and the upright. Oh, well, you know, people can change. These two got issues, y'all. This is so confusing. I see what's going on. She had to end up loving and choosing herself. Okay, okay. Let me tell you something. This is a journey. This is a lesson. She had to learn a lesson in loving herself and having the emotional balance to walk away from a situation. She became the king of cups. She may have had some issues with a father in her life. It may have been a father. Somebody, let me tell you something. Somebody, I believe, allegedly, there was a man, in particular, her father, the first man that she ever loved, may have been somebody that was emotionally, allegedly, emotionally, emotionally abusive, or in some way, uh, remind her of Shia. But she had to learn to love herself, to walk away from this situation, and trust her intuition that she made the right decision. Because she did not want to leave. Not with that ace of wands in a reverse. She did not want to leave this, this situation. But um, I do believe she ended up leaving for a lack of passion. Like she started losing her, not necessarily a passion for him. I feel like she lost her passion for like music and dance and everything. She started to get really, really depressed. So she had to pull herself allegedly out of this situation to get back to who Twigs is. Because she lost herself in this relationship. I'm telling you, devil energy codependency. This relationship became toxic and codependent. At least it did for her. She had to leave. That's why the Knight of Swords is here at the top of the deck. It's the overall. Because this is when you choose to walk away or to rush in towards a situation um, knowing that you don't see what's going on, but you are rushing into the unknown. Like, if it means I gotta change, then I gotta change. Now this Tower card, ooh, shut the freaking door. Shut the freaking door. Her choosing to walk away and share her story, she avoided a tower moment. Oh, Twigs, you go, girl. You go. You better freaking go. She avoided that. That's why the justice card is here. Shut the freaking door. That is why the justice card is here. That's where the conflict lies at. See, because Shia allegedly is still in the energy of the page of wands in the reverse, having no direction and an overindulgence of some type of devil energy. I'm just saying, tell me he ain't in devil energy and this came out on his side. Baby, you better get it together, Shia. Go get you some help. Allegedly, you need to get you some help, okay? Because see, you still dealing with heartbreak. Whether this is from FKA or whether this is some type of issues from your life. There's a lot of suffering he got going on. Baby, there's some karma, something going on. He is, let me tell you something. This man is having to look at himself in the mirror. He having to see himself, look at himself in the mirror. Oh, I got to hurry up. My, my clock is running down. Baby, he's having to see himself. Mm, mm, mm. I, I'm telling y'all, he still lives in a fantasy and he is moody as hell. Oh, he is moody as hell. 
Whew, he that's the second time he came up as moody. First time it was the seven of cups. He's a very moody person. Look at him. Still holding on. He's either holding on to resentment. He's holding on to past hurt that he's experienced. Or he's holding on to FKA. Boy, he needs to let it go. Okay? Let it go. Death card here in the reverse. This is somebody that is refusing to move. And if they are refusing, they're doing it slow as hell. Very slow to change. Very slow to change. He fears change. He's afraid of it. He is holding on, baby. Let, let, the, let the hurt go, Shia. Go heal. Go heal your childhood wounds. Let me see. Dear God, give me the most important messages that Shia needs to know at this time, please. Give me the most important messages that Shia needs to know at this time, please. Y'all, he's holding on to so much hurt and pain. What did I tell you? He needs to get courage to get up, go get some help for whatever alleged issues that he has, okay? Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for a non-grasping detachment. They bring the peace of God. I told y'all he needs to seek spirituality. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you are dying. His ego needs to be broken down. His ego needs to be broken down. You are not that man you used to be. You got to look at yourself in the mirror, Shia. You are not. I'm telling you, he needs to hear this. Though offer, I mean, sorry, through offering, even the most mundane problems can become a sacrament. Baby, let me tell you something. He needs to go get him some help. ASAP. And he needs to let something in his life needs to let go of it. Because it is consuming him and it has taken his career and everything from him. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching Celebrity Tarot Readings. If you like this video or if you didn't, comment down below why. And I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.